this long ride 1750. Uh, today I'm going to start a campaign in Field of Glory 2. Played a couple battles, but for me I really like having some connection, battle to battle. So uh, this is going to be my first campaign ever. Um, a couple battles. I don't me, I really like having some have any of these. Sorry, I'm getting some playback here of my so, own uh, sound, which is not ever. enjoyable. Um, Alright, that should be going away now. So, I'm going to pick the Julius Caesar campaign. Um, because I don't have any of these expansions. And, um, I don't know, Caesar's a badass, so might as well go with that. So like I said, I have no idea what these campaigns are like, how they work, anything like that. So I'm going to play on Legate, which is sort of the medium difficulty, I guess. Um, this campaign follows the military career of Gaius Julius Caesar, who conquered the whole of Gaul, invaded Germany and Britain, then defeated all his Roman rivals in a civil war spanning the whole of the Roman world, from Spain to Egypt, before being made dictator for life, then being assassinated soon after. If you're watching someone play Field of Glory 2, you probably know <laughs> know that already about Caesar, but why not? Alright, so it says stage one of seven. So I guess there's going to be seven battles in this campaign, would be my guess. 58 BC, as governor of the provinces of Cisalpine and Transalpine Gaul, northern Italy and the southern coast of France, you command four legions. You have raised two more and have marched to repel a mass migration by the Helvetii into the territories of the other southern Gallic tribes. It would appear I have one choice only, which is to offer battle, so let's do it. Okay, so, objective, route the enemy army by routing at least 40% of their troops and 25% more than you have lost, or route 60% of their troops. Uh, there are 24 turns. The enemy are offering open battle. Oh, so I do need to pick my troops. Okay, so I have five Roman legionaries. One unit of javelins and one unit of slingers. I suppose we don't know what they have. Well, I certainly think that you can't go wrong by having more legionaries, so let's add the maximum of those. I have four more of those. Still have 788 points. I could use some uh, uh, cavalry. points. Okay, so let's get two units of noble cavalry, two units of armored noble cavalry, so I have four units of cavalry total, and then I have nine le legionaries. How the hell do you pronounce that? Thuriophori. Thuriophori. Thuriophori? Froy? Who knows? Lightly equipped spearmen, that's not what I want. Thracians. Medium foot, medium foot. Cohesion test modifier and open versus heavy. All right, well, let's get a couple units of archers. Let's round out my force of light infantry. Wow, I have a lot of points still. Okay. How about some scutarii? Could probably use a couple. Couple spearmen. Okay, and then let's do a veteran legionary. So I have 10 legionaries. Um, some horse archers sound good. 
and then some substandard legionaries. Yes, let's fill out with that. 24 points left. Can I get anything with 24 points? Light javelin horse, boom. Except. Click on the unit you want to add a general and click the add general icon. Yes, well, I suppose that that makes sense. So the enemy's up here. A lot of wide open territory on the right. It's probably where I'm gonna want my cavalry. Actually, this whole thing is pretty wide open. The hill here. The hill here. This is a huge army. All right, so I have, I believe, I created 12 units of legionaries. So let's put, oops. Yeah, it's like more than one at a time, huh? Nope. Okay, let's uh, rough ground, that's unfortunate. So I think my, f my plan here as of right now is gonna be to Push a couple legionaries onto this hill. The archers and javelins in front. Put my sort of mercenary infantry here. Cavalry on the right flank. We'll see what happens. So we've got legionaries, legionaries, legionaries. There's another mediocre legionary. All right, one, two, three, four legionaries there. We'll put the archers with you. Well, actually we can put you up front. No reason not to. The javelins there as well and some slingers. Get another unit of legionaries over here. I need a couple lighter units to cover my left flank. Scootiarii should do fine. Can I turn you? Yes. Another unit of Scootiarii to help protect that. And then I'm going to have another group of infantry back here. Legionaries. Mediocre. Mediocre. Standard, standard, standard. I'm kind of just deploying a huge line here. I'm not sure. I mean, my units are sig should be significantly better than theirs. keep all of my... Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Let's put some on the right flank here. Okay, what are these? Light javelin men. Okay, let's put the javelins over there. Keep the slingers and the archers together. I'm Camellius Durio. Alright, you'll be in command of the right We'll figure that out in a second. Put some horsemen up front just to harass. And then I want to keep my cavalry. Ah, here's Caesar. Alright, we'll keep the cavalry. Okay, let's change it up then. Let's put Durio there. Hmm. 
I clearly don't understand this general thing very well. Alright. It's not brilliant, but... Oh, right, I still have a commander to place. Okay, let's just give... This unit of legionaries a commander. Like, how do I change it so that he's not... See, that just moves him over there. That's not really what I want. Alright, whatever. I don't care. Let's just play. Wow, that's a lot of them. Holy cow. Okay, well, let's put my plan into action. And take this hill. Like, I, see, I don't want you to be part of this command. That's what I don't. I know there's a way to do it. I just don't remember what it is. So we're just gonna do things the old-fashioned way. Click them one at a time. I'm just going to hold everything else and see what he does. Alright, so he's just going to wait for me. Fine. What do we got here? Archers, javelins, slingers. Nothing out of the ordinary. So... Assuming that he continues to stay where he is. Where's his general, I wonder? Back here, probably. Divico. Assuming that Divico decides to stay where he is. He's got more cavalry than me. Um, I'm going to try and push up this way, see if he reacts, and if he doesn't, I'll just go for an envelopment, screening my right flank with the cavalry. theory, my infantry should be significantly better than his in a straight-up fight. We'll hold. Yeah, he's really just gonna stand there, huh? Alright, let's let the skirmishing commence.
move these guys over to the right, because it's kind of looking like he doesn't have anything there to oppose me, so... And then we'll keep moving this way, just kind of like one step at a time. He does have a lot of guys. so good there. So you're blocking me. So if I'm... I can't reach him to charge anyway. So let's move up one. Shoot him. Infantry up closer. Can't turn and shoot on him because I'm in his arc or zone of control I guess right yeah all right Ah, he's finally starting to move. Okay. Pass through. Pass through. We're going to pass through. Let's take a chance here that we can. Yeah, I figured he would have made. Get up around there, charge him. Keep our formation. Ooh, it's rough ground, I don't want to be on that. Hmm. Let's 
stay where we are then. I'm hoping to draw him in a little bit more and then turn. though. That's a lot of enemy cavalry. I'll move him there. Hold him. Just try to get on top of this hill. shots at that cavalry. And try to deal with his javelin men here. See if we can push them back. I'm going to hold them there. Okay. It's starting to get interesting now. Okay, so let's review what they did. They moved up here with some light infantry to harass my legionaries. Moved everything straight up, which is kind of what I want them to do. Try to charge my horse archers. Alright, let's continue harassing this guy, see if we can pull him even further in. Somehow I doubt that I'll be able to shoot if I move here. these three horses. Can you turn? No. Hold the line there. I'm going to hold here, see if I can draw him even further in. interesting so let's turn you in preparation for a charge next turn yeah no line 
the site, right? Okay, so let's see what happens if I try to charge this cavalry. Pretty much what I thought. Well, I've got him pinned down, so let's get in there. Fragment him. I know I won't be able to, well, you, I know I won't be able to reach you with a charge. Let's just move you up. Let's move you. Oh, let's hold you there. Bring these slingers over. Archers that way. I just turned you so I can't charge. And I started on this side. So I guess that's my turn. They're squaring up. That is a lot of cavalry. <clears throat> start on the left flank this time. So I think what I might want to do is actually charge you with these slingers flank charge. Maybe hold you down. Oh, well that worked very nicely. Only downside is now you're in my way, but... Let's try to route what's over here, so... Let's get a quick charge. Flank. <laughs> Feels kind of mean shooting those guys when they're already down, but whatever. Uh, let's turn you around. These archers up here. So 
So the plan is going to be to have him come up here to get around these guys, finish them off quick. These guys are going to come up this way. Let's just turn you... Move you here, turn you... Maybe he'll charge me. That would be nice, right? Let's turn you in preparation for a move that way. Let's keep focusing our fire on him. I'm worried about this right flank here. He has so much more cavalry than me. Let's turn you. Let's end the turn. Here we go. Jesus. Okay, so if I go in there, I'm going to be disrupted. So let's just charge here. It's not technical. Oh, 265. Wow. Okay, cool. I like that. Let's soften up these guys. charge them. Okay, that's everything on the left. <clears throat> so I have a 14% win chance, 75% draw chance. More likely to win than lose. Wow. 
why are you such a low? Well, that's not that, that much of a difference, I guess. So we'll probably draw here. I think it makes more sense to let him charge me, honestly. Oh man, this is a disaster over there. Well, I'm worried about his cavalry, so... Maybe what makes the most sense is to get fighting ASAP. Superior warband against my veteran Roman legionaries. What? Let's do it. Ooh, yeah, push him back. Hell yeah. Fragmented. Bang. Forgot to use the slingers. Oops. Can I fire into units that are engaged? Charge here. I'm gonna try to get a flank attack going here. Not enough AP left to turn. Is a flank? No. Okay. Keep pouring fire on him. There we go. Let's get you a dodge. <laughs> This will be crazy if I can get him. Nice. Nice. Don't let him get away. Breaks. Hell yeah. Come on. Run. Oh, it didn't fragment any of them? Alright, that's fine. I took out one of his commanders. Certainly have no problem with that. Okay, let's hold there. And now the question is, do I want to charge in the middle? I think the answer is yes. Charging over there worked quite well. Uh, what? That's bizarre. Hold with you. Let's get these javelins up. Okay, I like the way things are going on the left flank a lot. The middle's looking okay, especially if I can get him. Ooh, I should probably try and turn a little bit like that. 
so the next turn maybe I can charge that way, I don't know. Middle's looking okay. Right flank's concerning, but at least I got that guy out. Cavalry, the happier I am. Slingers would piss me off, though. Oh, come on. There we go. Bye. Oh, I'm trying to get it. There. Disrupted, that's good. Pushed back. Okay. Now I'm all the way up there, which is <laughs> not ideal. Alright, well, let's proceed one piece at a time, so let's start with the left flank. So, we're doing fine up here. Probably just want to charge that poorly armed rabble. So we'll crush them, no problem. Okay, that's all fine. I'm gonna chart. Ooh, first I'm gonna shoot at him. Then I will charge him. something there and I just get unlucky. Well whatever it was I did not like it, I'll tell you that much. Okay, I wanna charge you. 89% chance to win. How oh, firm? Unbelievable. Can I order you? No, why not? Tell me I can charge you. Yes, flank charge. Let's do this. Bye. Freaking gorgeous. Fighting, I'm not worried about that. Okay, so you guys are all fighting. Okay, 
percent chance there, twenty three percent chance there. Should probably start trying to do something about all this cavalry over here. Casualties are casualties, right? I'm gonna make you come up to me. Get that height advantage or the rough ground advantage. Keep these cavalry away from my flank as long as I can. Roll them up on this side. I've already got 15% of his army routed. It's obviously nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. We're hurting over there, for sure. Got this guy totally surrounded. But I can't turn and charge him in one turn. Let's try this. Let's pull you back. Charge. And then get a flank on him. That's not a flank. Okay. That makes zero sense to me, but whatever. That's not a flank either, okay. Okay. Oh well, moving you into the woods. Severely disordered. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should not have done that.
never really know what to do with these guys once I've... I mean, I don't need to do anything. So I can get a flank attack on them. Probably do that. Seems like the right decision. Rabble is pissing me off. I really have no choice but to charge them. Ninety-five percent chance of them for whatever reason. Break. I like that. I mean, it is poorly armed rabble. I would expect them to break against legionaries. Woof. 34% chance to win on the charge. Might as well charge them. They are behind my lines now, though. That's not ideal. Yeah, we're in trouble on the right, for sure. And the left's looking a little shaky, too. I need to route 40% of their troops and 25% more than me. I'm closing in on that. We're at 29%. We should be okay. <clears throat> oh my god, why won't they run? Barbarians have better morale than one would expect. just fragmented or if his did. Finally! Oh, there we go. There. We. Go. Okay. 
We only need one or two more of their units to run. Fragmented. Not close enough. God damn it. Alright, let's get them in a zone of control so they can't leave. And then we'll try to damage these cavalry. Mm, hold on. Everything up here is pretty much taken care of. So we'll leave you to deal with them. You guys come across. You're just gonna turn around. These archers move into the woods. Shoot at them. I don't have anything else to do with them, so might as well. Put every single piece of fire I can on these cavalry in my rear. That could be a serious, serious problem. stuck in these light horse archers I fired with all of you you're all in melee so this is where things get interesting in the middle I am zone of controlled by you. So let's turn you. Let's charge you. Let's charge you. Oh, that didn't work very well. God damn. Let's just try to mess with these guys. All right, we're in good shape though. I, I think that we might win on this turn here. You're not supposed to rally. Good. Good. That's it, 40%, right? Unless he gets one of my units to run. Hold. 
Hold. Ah. Son of a gun. I had him for a second there. Maybe I still have him. I just need to have 20% more than 25% more than him, right? So. Man, these guys just refuse to run up there. Nice. Aha! Victory is sweet. Proceed. We can claim this is a glorious victory. Excellent, excellent. Alright, so they had 88,000, and they lost 42,000, ouch. I had 56,000, and I lost just under 7,000. So 13% of my force versus 47% of theirs. I like that. It's interesting, they had 25,000 captured or deserted, killed 7,000, wounded 9,000. Ah, excellent. It's a good win. You successfully achieved the victory conditions for the previous stage of the campaign. I lost 13%, they lost 47%. You must detach some units from your field army as garrisons. Following your defeat of the Helvetii, you went on to conquer the remaining Gallic tribes piecemeal. Earlier this year, you repelled an invasion of Gaul by the German Suebi. You have followed them across the Rhine, but they seem to be avoiding battle. Okay. Can I save at this point? Alia Yakta Est. The die is cast. We're going to save that, and I'm going to make a cut here in my recording.